everyone i hope everyone is fine so today we are starting with exercise 3.3 as we have done exercise 3.2 3.1 i have told you not to do in the notebook and uh, there is no need to do that chapter uh, that exercise it is all based on activity and uh, i have told you one thing in the previous video that if you will be able to understand the concept and all the definitions and the cartesian plane that you have made in your notebook if you have understood that then you will be able to do the full chapter without any uh, error or without any uh, problem so right now we are discussing this exercise exercise 3.3 question number 1 so here we go question number 1 See this in which quadrant or on which axis do these of the points these all points lie okay which quadrant or on which axis do these lie okay first is minus 2 comma 4 so can you tell just just by looking at this that where this will lie means x is negative and y is positive in which quadrant x is negative and y is positive quadrant second just for your reference i can tell you this that this is our condition plane where this is y then y dash x and x dash this is zero and here we have all positive values here we have all negative here we have all positive here we have all negative values okay negative value so here we have minus x and plus y here we have plus x and plus y here both minus and here we have plus x and minus y so this minus x and plus y okay minus and plus so minus plus belongs to second quadrant this i have told you this is first this is second this is third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant so in the same manner we can do all the questions 3 minus 1 plus minus plus minus is in fourth quadrant if you are not able to write directly you know then you can make this then quadrant fourth then uh, the next is minus 1 comma 0 this is important to know this is not lying on any quadrant because it is minus 1 0 minus 1 means x is minus 1 so it will lie somewhere here minus 1 and y is 0 so it is lying on only x axis because here y is 0 whenever y will be 0 it will always lie on x axis and whenever x will be 0 it will always lie on y axis an equation i have told you that x axis is represented by y equal to 0 Whenever any point is on x axis, it means y is always 0. Whenever any point is on y axis, it means x is always 0 on this line. And on this line, y is always 0. So if, if y is always 0, if y is 0 here, it means it is lying on x axis. And this we have proved also minus 1 is lying here on x axis. And y is 0, so we will put only, uh, locate only this minus 1. Okay. The next, 1 comma 2. So both positive. And it means this is quadrant first, then minus 3, comma, minus 5. This is lying on both minus quadrant third. So verify your answer by locating them on the Cartesian plane. So let us locate it on the Cartesian plane. So for this, we have to make this in the sphere okay you also have to make in your notebook figure should be very uh, neat and clean and if possible make use of graph clear if you do not have graph and if you are not able to arrange graph then uh, you can make in your note on your notebook uh, plain pages simple pages okay and uh, there should be proper gap that's it so let us move on to Cartesian plane for this question. So these all points now I am going to locate. Fine. So here we have this. Wait a minute. So this is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Minus 5, which is the highest value we have here. 
till I guess minus 5 means 5 okay 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 fine then here 1 2 3 4 5 and this is no it's really uh, means uh, it is not required till here okay so you can end it here only fine this is just extra I have made 1 2 3, 4, 5, then here, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, so it is our y dash, this is y, this is x dash, and this is x, this is here, zeros means all point means uh, origin zero so let us go with the first value this is minus 2 comma 4 so where is minus 2 comma 4 minus 2 x then 4 y minus 2 comma 4 lying here so we'll let us write here minus 2 comma 4 and this is which quadrant this represent here this is quadrant 2 this is quadrant first this is quadrant third this is quadrant fourth second 3 comma minus 1 3 comma minus 1 3x and y minus 1 so 3 comma minus 1 then minus 1 comma 0 minus 1 comma 0 okay uh, after this 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 okay then minus 3 comma minus 5 minus 3 and minus 5 So this point is lying on first quadrant proved and we have written this this point is lying on second quadrant we have written this this is lying on x axis we have written this and this is lying on third quadrant uh, in third quadrant so this the same we have written and quadrant four uh, so minus uh, three comma minus one is lying on quadrant four so these are the point this way you have to locate understood uh, i hope uh, this is all easy part of the chapter to locate the points so we have done this we'll start with the second question now this is over here okay moving on to question number two question number two is plot the points x comma y given in the following tables okay the value of x the values of x and values of y are given Choosing suitable units of distance on the axis. Okay, means they are talking about the distance which are which you are means the gap which you are going to choose. For example, the gap of one, the gap of two. That is up to you. And here we have numbers ranging from zero or ranging from minus two to eight. Means we can take a gap of one, one, one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five like this. So let us start with this. It is still 8 okay we'll make till 8 6 7 8 so the same I'm using again minus 6 minus 7 and in negative no they do not have any bigger number in this question we do not have, we do not have any bigger number in this question in second question no so minus I have made till minus 8 if you want to make till minus 4 it is up to you fine I am making just equal from all the sides means 8 8 8 8 8 I am taking so it is this way this is minus 7 this is minus 8 and this is 6, 7 and 8. So let us plot all the points. First of all, how to start with, see this, solution of this second question. How to solve question number 2. Uh, plot, which points we need to plot? Minus 2, 8. So write in this way, minus 2, 8. 
and minus 1 7 this way no this way it will make a pair of x and y minus then it is 0 comma minus 1.25 and uh, 1 comma 3 3 comma minus 1 so these all points we are going to plot there Hmm. Let us see these points. So the first point is minus two, comma eight. So where is minus two, comma eight? Minus two x and y8 so this is all here minus 2 comma 8 and we can write even here minus 2 comma 8 okay then minus 1 comma 7 so first is done now minus 1 comma 7 minus 1 comma 7 so minus 1 comma 7 then it is 0 comma minus 1.25 0 then y is minus 1.25 means uh, minus 1 and 2 in between minus 1 and 2. Uh, this let me tell you in detail where minus 1.25 will lie. See this here it is minus 1 here it is minus 2 and in just center of this here we have minus 1.5 and just half of minus 1.5 and minus 1 means here in the just center this is what minus 1.25 so this is x is 0 here because we are on y axis and uh, y is minus 1.25 I hope this is clear see minus 1 and this is 2 and the half is minus 1.50 yes no and uh, this is minus 1.25 so 1.25 will be the center of 1.50 and 1 so just middle of minus uh, 1 and 1.5 will be 1.25 fine so let us rub this part this is not required to highlight Okay, so this is also done. After this, this also we have located. Next, 1 comma 3. So 1 x and y 3. 1 comma 3. Then 3 comma minus 1, 3 comma minus 1. So this is done. So this is question number 2 of exercise 3.3. So the chapter is over. Uh, please do not consider that the chapter is over. We are going to do uh, one more, one or two more questions. Okay, extra questions right now. And this also you need to do in your notebook clear so after this the next question so let us start with extra questions so in extra questions now we are doing only two more questions will help you in understanding of the chapter in a better way and for your information i can tell you that uh, out of these means these kind of questions no have come previous year also in the exam in semester one so please consider these questions okay means these types of questions which we are doing right now so question number one just write it down plot the points Plot the points a two comma five b minus two comma two 
and C four comma two on graph paper join A B B C C A calculate area of triangle this is a r means area of triangle a b c you need to find the area of triangle a b c in this so how we can do these types of questions first of all what is written here we have to plot these points on the graph let us move on to the graph so these points will locate 2 comma 5 minus 2 comma 2 and 4 comma 2 okay so here we are the first point is 2 comma 5 so 2 and 5 so this is 2 comma 5 and they are saying this is point a so we'll write only a do not write 2 comma 5 because they have given a name to this point a so then b is minus 2 comma 2 minus 2 x and 2 y so minus 2 comma 2 is point b after this c is 4 comma 2 4 comma 2 This is 4 comma 2, so we'll write here point C. This is point C. Now, uh, as per the question, it is saying it is written that join A, B, B, C, and C, A. Okay, let us join A, B, B, C, and C, A. It will take a little time. Let's draw this line. So, AB we have drawn successfully. Now, in the same way, we'll draw AC, then same manner for. this so let's keep it here aside now this is the triangle that is that is being formed here it is written that calculate the area of this triangle so how to calculate the area of this triangle you need to focus on this thing let me tell you regarding the height of this triangle see for the triangle now you should know the base and height and you know the formula better half into base into height is area of angle so let me tell you something about this what is this what is this height of the triangle okay what we call it height and what is this base of the triangle so let it let me write here point d I'm writing here point d that ad is the height and bc is the base so how to calculate the area we'll write here area of triangle ABC is half into base into height okay then what is base here BC and what is height here AD because height is always a perpendicular line so after this how much is BC so we have to count like this very easy one see this one square is from see minus two to one this is one unit then two 3, 4, 5, 6. How many uh, the uh, gap of how many squares? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Please do not only see this, the gap of how many squares. See this also. also. From minus 2 to 4. How much is the gap? From minus 2 to 4. See this. Whatever is written in positive side right here. First of all, then subtract this. This is minus 2. So 4 plus 2. This is the gap of? 6 or we can go with these squares also 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay but this way will only work if here we have a gap of only 1 1 1 1 unit okay now if here you are taking a gap of 2 units for example minus here would be minus 2 minus 4 then 2 4 6 8 then in that case no you should do like this 
clear it is uh, the easier way to do uh, for example the last point lying on 4 so write 4 then subtraction sign because we have to see the distance from c to b okay then after that what is the point here minus 2 then subtract okay then 4 minus minus plus it, you can calculate like this okay so bc is 6 basically then what is ad 1 2 3 or you can look from here this is 5 and this is c a is on fifth point and d is on 2 so 5 minus 2 it is 3 so two ways i have told you to take out the units this is 9 square units we need to write the square units because no unit is given here so we have to write unit so area is always calculated in square so this is square unit 9 square units so this question is done i hope you have understood this okay so this is all over no need to write this now moving on to the next question let's write the next question now question number second 3 vertices of rectangle ABCD are A 3 comma 1 B minus 3 comma 1 C minus 3 comma 3 so these are the three vertices of a rectangle means in a rectangle no three vertices are given a b and c a b c and d is not given fine so plot these points write the question plot these points on a graph paper on a graph paper and find coordinates of fourth quadrant sorry fourth vertex which is the fourth vertex which is not given here fourth vertex d i have told no d point is not given so this we have to calculate with this we have to find out which is the fourth vertex and find area of rectangle a b c d we have to find the area also of this rectangle first of all we need to find uh, we have to plot these points so let me highlight a 3 comma 1 b minus 3 comma 1 and c minus 3 comma 3 so let us plot these points first of all let us move on to the graph and we'll plot these points first of all so here is the graph where we are going to plot the point straight this is fine okay so starting with the first point that is a 3 comma 1 so 3 comma 1 slide so here so this is point a 3 comma 1 then b is minus 3 comma 1 then minus 3 comma 1 this is point b this will give us the shape of a rectangle then c com c is minus 3 comma 3 so minus 3 comma 3 okay this side so minus 3 comma 3 this is c and we need to uh, we have plotted these points and we need to find now the fourth quadrant where will be the fourth quadrant lie to make this a rectangle first of all let us join these lines first point then after this uh -oh. So 
taking a little time now join these two points okay where can be the fourth uh, vertex where can be the point d i hope you have understood so it will be just above this right here so no reason to give just directly you can locate the point d and make the rect rectangle let us join this point then only no rectangle is possible because if d will be here then only because in front of c it should be and in front of a means from here it should be the same distance because in rectangle the breadth is same both the sides so if, if there is a distance of two units of two square between b and c then there should be a distance of two square between a and d also so that's why d should be located here then only a rectangle is possible to form fine after this so i don't know why it is not coming up okay finally so this is again uh, the meeting of these two point now here we have the rectangle so we can easily find out now the area of this rectangle so last step is left first of all you have to write that fourth vertex d coordinates are what are the coordinates of d just mention here also no uh mention here this that d is lying on x 3 and y 3 so these are the coordinates this is one of your answer okay the next is area of rectangle area of rectangle is l into v so how much is length here see the gap 1 2 3 4 5 6 and breadth 1 2 okay if you have took a gap of 1 1 unit here 1 1 a gap of 1 1 1 then it is possible like this otherwise i have told you that just see here at a point we have here 3 value at b point we have here minus 3 so you have to subtract 3 minus minus 3 then 3 plus 3 it is 6 this way clear so 6 to the 12 otherwise it is all fine 12 square units is it clear to you 12 square units will come okay 6 multiply by 2 it is 12 square units i hope uh, this is clear how much 3 okay so uh, the chapter is finished now what you need to do is your homework is so your homework is x size 3.2 ncrt full means only two questions are there then after that these two extra questions so just plus extra questions that we have done question number one and question number two just finish this work then we'll start with the next chapter okay Bye, take care.